After dropping off Bird for a vacation in Arizona, we headed north. It's a long drive across Texas. We measure distance in hours, and it's about 12 from one end to the other, no matter which way you go. The distances from one town to another can seem long in the middle of nowhere, Texas. But if you look close, you can always find something to do. Hi, I'm Natalie. This is Chris, Bubba, and Birdie. We always seem to find ourselves on a new adventure, and we try to take advantage of each one. Come along as we share a little bit about the journey. After a couple hours of driving, we stopped at Johnson Park in Marble Falls, Texas to try out some new camera equipment and have a picnic lunch. It's a small town that sits on the banks of what Texans call the Colorado River. We zonies know where the real Colorado River runs. It was a pretty day and a nice place for us to get out and stretch our legs, take the dogs for a walk, and try out some of our new camera equipment. Even Poncho got in on that. Poncho. Oh my lord, he has a camera on. Poncho has Poncho vision now. What are you gonna do with that? Chase the geese? Of course, he headed straight for the geese. Bubba didn't let him chase the geese. This is what he thought about that. But he got treats anyways. You ready? You ready? You ready? Oh, down. Down. Good dog. So we just stopped in Marble Falls but I didn't see any marbles or any falls. And I'm wondering what's the deal with that. Marble rocks. You look at that picnic table, it's made out of marble. But where's the falls? Like you it's on the river. fall down? It's on the river. I, all I saw was geese. It turns out the natural falls were covered up when that Colorado River was dammed in 1951. right on the right end of that one. Our next stop was Hamilton. Chris's dad was a cow hauler back in the day and Dutchman's was a favorite stop. Chris remembers stopping here as a kid and getting sandwiches. They have all sorts of gigas, lots of homemade goods, and things you never knew you didn't need. Just in case you needed to know. At Dutchman's, you can buy yourself a fresh loaf of bread and they'll break out the 100-year-old slicer and slice it for you. Good luck making it to your final destination without eating it all on the way. On to the last stop of this leg of our trip, Patillo, Chris's hometown. There's something about small towns. Time slows down, worries slip away, mamas pass on wisdom and help put things in perspective. And if you're lucky, they might even share a Dr. Pepper with you. There's room to explore and learn new things and make mistakes. It just feels safe, simple, like home. And the food's not half bad either. Let's take a walk. Patillo is a tiny community located in Erath County. It was established in the 1800s. This little feed store his grandparents owned for many years. Mama just closed it a few years back. It was a great place for him to grow up and 
Learn how to be the man that he is today. Uh -oh. oh God. Yeah, but I don't know what to do with it now. <laughs> and it's still a place where family comes together just to have fun. Terrorizing your family with the drone will make you work up an appetite. If you get a chance, stop by Crossroads and tell George and Elizabeth we sent you. We love you, Mama. Join us next time. We're going to rob some banks. <laughs>